Welcome to this yoga to boost your immune system. Turn your attention inward, place one hand on your chest and the other near solar plexus. Focus on your inhale and exhale. the shoulders up by the ears and roll back and down. Inhale up, exhale down. A few more times releasing any tension. Placing the right hand by your side, inhale, raise your left arm up. And other side. Tilt your head to the left. Bring the left hand to the right side of your head. Then you can apply a little pressure to help guide the head towards the left shoulder. You can stay here or place your hand on the mat or a little bit further behind your back. Slowly release. Place your right hand to the left side of your head, tilting the head to the right. You can stay here or go further by placing your hand behind you. And slowly release. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, turn to your left. Exhale, drop your arms down, placing your right hand behind your left knee. Find that twist. Come back to the center, arms up, inhale, exhale, turn to your right, drop your left hand down behind your right knee. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, release the left hand by your left side, right arm up. If it's available, you may come down to the left forearm. Release and other side. Release and go to your child's pose. Knees are open wide. Walk the hands over to the left side of your mat. You can stay here or place your left hand close to your left knee and turn your gaze to the ceiling. Lift your left shoulder up while lowering your right shoulder down. Find that twist and stretch the side of your body and walk the hands over to the right. And again, you can stay here and breathe deeply 
or go further by placing your right hand to the right knee. Lift your right shoulder by pushing off the floor with the right hand. Turn your gaze up and lower your left shoulder down. Walk the hands back through center. Come up into tabletop position. Start draw circles with the left leg. And change side, now right leg. And release. Now bring the left fingertips to the temple, inhale, lift the left elbow skywards, as you exhale, lower the elbow to top the mat. Inhale, open your chest, exhale, elbow down. Inhale, lift your left elbow as high as you can. You can exercise at your own pace. Thread the left arm under the right and you're lowering your shoulder down to the mat. Maybe you prefer to walk the hand forward or you could reach the arm up. Or wrap the arm behind your back. Slowly release and come back to tabletop position. Other side, place your left hand in the middle of the mat and lift your right elbow. Inhale, with exhale, drop your elbow down to tap the mat. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Now thread the right arm under the left and you can put your left hand straight behind your head or may reach the arm up or wrap the arm behind your back. Slowly release. Hips over knees and walk your hands forward and sink your chest down into puppy pose. Then slowly extend your right leg and lift your leg up. If you want more support and stability, you can place your hands a little bit wider on the mat. You can either rest your chin or your forehead on the mat. Release and change your leg, lift your left leg up.
release, come back to all fours, exhale rounding the spine, press the floor away and bring chin to chest, inhale as you arch, exhale as you round. Tuck your toes, raise your hips up, exhale, inhale, put your knees down, exhale up, inhale down. And add Homukashwanasana and start walking it out, letting go of any tension in the hamstrings. Allow yourself to move your hips and body. Step forward in front of your mat, inhale, with exhale Uttanasana. Roll all the way up, arms up, inhale, and exhale, hands to heart, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale step your right leg back, inhale raise your both arms up. With exhale draw the hands back behind you, interlacing the fingers, open your chest. Chin to chest, inhale arms up, exhale lower your hands down to the mat, shift your body weight backward by straightening your left leg, raise your hands up and try to lengthen the spine and try to tilt your pelvis forward. Keep breathing, release, place your right hand to the left side of the mat behind your left leg, turn your gaze up. At first try to lift your left shoulder to the sky and if it's good for you, you can extend your left arm up. Keep breathing and find your balance in this twist, release. Put your hand down, shift your body weight forward, tuck your toe, lift your right knee and step back to plank. Drop your knees, bending your elbows, lower yourself down, inhale cobra, exhale adho mukha svanasana. Step forward, inhale, lift your chest up, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, roll up, arms up, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, up, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway, exhale, step your left leg back, drop your knee, and with inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, draw the hands back behind you, interlacing the fingers, open your chest. Squeezing the shoulder blades together and rolling your shoulders back. Inhale and exhale. And arms up. With exhale, hands down to mat. 
front leg will strengthen, hips move back. Raise your both arms and keep lengthening the spine. Release, twist other side. Place your left hand behind your right leg and try open your chest by raising your right shoulder up. If you want, you can lift your arm up to find that side stretch. Release arms down. Slowly come forward, tuck your toe and lift your knee and step to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Step forward and roll yourself up to standing, arms up, inhale, exhale, Utkatasana, inhale and exhale, forward fold, inhale, open your chest, exhale, step back, Chaturanga, inhale, Cobra, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Lift your right leg up and step forward to Virabhadrasana 1. From here we are going to take our eagle arms. So you are going to take your left elbow underneath the right elbow, intertwine the wrist and then begin to move with that body up and down. Inhale up and exhale down. Now shift your weight over towards that front foot. Lift your left knee up and then come over to full Garudanasana. Left knee over the right knee. Find your balance and breath. Now step back that left foot. Release your arms, inhale, arms up, and exhale, drop your hands down to the mat. Step back to plank, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, exhale, adho mukha, shwanasana. Other side, lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale, step your left leg in front of your mat, Virabhadrasana 1, arms up and bring your right elbow underneath the left, intertwine the wrist and then begin to move your body up and down with breath. Now move your body weight forward, lift 
lift your right knee up and cross your right knee over the left Garudanasana. Step back, release your arms with inhale, arms up and exhale, come down, step back to plank, vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, cobra, exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Step forward. Roll up, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Bring your hands to heart. Find your twist in the left side. Keep breathing slowly and deeply. Extend your right leg and step your right foot all the way back. You can stay here or try extend your elbows, planting the palm of your hand onto the mat along the left side. Release. Step back to plank. Chaturanga or lighter version by bending the knees and elbows. Lie down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Step forward, roll up, inhale, arms up, exhale, Utkatasana. Bring your hands to heart and take your left elbow towards your right knee into your twist. Extend your left leg all the way back, step your left foot back and if you want, you can extend your elbows here and keep your left hand grounded. Release, vinyasa, step back, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Shift your weight forward and come to your side plank. Let's start with the right side. Now release and change side. Release. Drop your knees down and come to your child's pose.
slowly roll up Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now change position to sitting, Dandasana. And start lifting your leg one at a time. Try to keep your spine straight. Begin to twist your body to your left side. If you're ready, bend your right knee and cross your left foot over your right leg. Try to keep your spine straight. Opposite elbow to your left knee and your left arm reaches all the way back. Find that twist. And release. Other side. Bend your left knee, right foot is on the mat. Now left elbow to your right knee and right arm reaches all the way back. Release. Now you're welcome to come and lie down on your back. And as you lay down, bring your right knee into your chest. Draw the knee across the body over the left side. Right arm can reach out to the right side. You can turn your head over to the right. Release the twist and switch side. Grab your left knee and hug it into your chest. And draw the left knee across the body over the right side. Left arm can reach out to the left side, you can turn your head over the left. Release. Hug both knees into your chest and take gentle rocks side to side. Now the same, only with your feet placed on the mat. Now slowly release the legs down to mat. Start to relax your arms and whole body. If you want, you can put your hands to your belly. Settle in for Shavasana. Allow yourself to rest and give yourself time. Start to inhaling into the belly, allowing the belly to rise. And then exhale, start slowly release. Try focus only on your inhalation and exhalation. Allow your eyes to feel heavy and allow your shoulders to relax. Your legs are getting heavier and heavier. 
your whole body relax and become heavier with each breath you can stay here as much as you need Now you can go ahead and begin to bring movement into your body. Slowly bend your knees and then rolling yourself over to one side and then coming up to your seated position on your mat. Come into a cross-legged position, resting your hands on the knees. Feel free to open up the palms of your hands upward. Close your eyes for just a little moment and just breathe. If you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today on the mat and practicing with me. Namaste.